Hi, I'm Santi Darkshed from SDJ Records and this is the making of Dystopian Vision. Dystopian Vision is a melodic death metal project with 90s trance and anime elements. Heavily inspired by one of my favorite albums of all time, called Epsilon by the band Bloodstained Child. Dystopian Vision is mainly a melodic death metal album, but it could also be perceived as metalcore. It shares both clean vocals and screams with a pretty heavy instrumentation with some fast-paced breakdowns here and there. And the songs are crazy fast, but the trance and electronic music elements are also very present. So melodic trance metal core? <laughs> or something like that. Dystopian Vision will remind you to that 90s anime intro music that you loved to watch when you were a kid and got stuck in your head since then. At least that's the vibe that I want to give with it and I believe I got pretty close. The clean vocals are super mellow and high pitched. And then the screams give that aggressive touch that contrasts enough to say, hey, remember that this is a metal album, <laughs> right? It definitely sets up a vibe that you either love it or hate it, I think. You may have noticed that the vocals for Dystopian Vision are very different than the type of vocals you are used to hear from me, and in metal music in general. Uh, to me this was something completely new and with this project I explored an area of my voice that I never knew it was there before. So this was an adventure for me and when I discovered that I could produce that type of voice I was truly amazed. Because you know, um, I am a male and I have a low male voice that sometimes it could sound like this. And I think the people that knows me is used to that. I even sing Rammstein covers, man, you know? <laughs> so in my head it was like, yeah, no way I can go the opposite way for this album. And here we are. My main inspiration uh, for this album was to sing like uh, the clean vocalist of Bloodstained Child at the time they made this album Epsilon which it was, I think her name is Sophia, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god, she's so pretty. And Sophia um, sing with a very specific uh, technique and I wanted to reproduce that style of singing uh, with my own voice, which is, <laughs> you know, if you say it like this, it's almost impossible. But it wasn't, and I think I got pretty close actually. I was very surprised the first time I tried it with the first song, the song called Nova. And it's the first song that I uploaded to my channel. And I think most of you guys like it. And I thought maybe I have something special going on here. And I started to practice it a little bit more and trying to develop more on that. And yeah, I got into a to a spot where I think I'm pretty comfortable with and I really enjoy the results. So this album puts you in the role of a young girl named Emma. She has been a member of a crew of nomad pilots that live in a spaceship and are constantly looking out for resources in other planets and asteroids. She lived a life of constant danger because of the different attempts from both alien species and other human pilots to get with their technology and resources. In one of these attempts, she got hit with a projectile of some alien type source and even though she survived, she started to experience visions that are premonition of near future events. The nature of these visions is unknown and can be either a special ability that she gained when her body absorbed this kind of energy 
or also a product of a mental issue that started by the consequence of the strong hit. This self-titled first album sets up during the beginning of her visions. Songs will go about her talking about her visions and also her past, her experiences, the different battles and events that she lived during her journey through space. The way I like to produce all my albums, once I already have an idea of what kind of sound I want to achieve, is start playing and recording random riffs and then recreating them into the program and start from there. I listen to that riff on repeat and I start tuning things until I'm satisfied with what I'm hearing. This could take several attempts uh, and it will depend on the complexity of the project. Sometimes it takes a few hours of work and sometimes it takes entire days of pulling out the sound. Time has passed and I think I've been getting better and better as a producer and this means less time spent to get to my goals, but even then it still takes time. I tried my best to match the sound of the album I got my inspiration from. It is supposed to sound heavy, powerful, but also I took in count that the tempo of the songs is pretty fast and melody is priority on the instrumentation. So I went easy on the low end frequencies of the drums. The snare hits pretty hard on this one though. I also made sure that the bass were super present and heavy sounding with distortion and that clunkiness. And with the guitars, I spent a lot of time tuning the tone I've been watching a lot of a video of one of the guitarists of Bloodstained Child. I think his name is Ryu. And the video was about him trying out some Kemper amplifiers and playing some badass riffs. I love that video, man. And during that, I noticed that he has a very specific tone that makes the palm mute notes sound very chuggy. Uh, like you can hear this kind of noise when he plays this palm mute notes. So after trying different IQ moves on the preamp segment, I got the sound I was looking for, which it was uh, almost like almost default, but I crank up a little bit the uh, the mid frequencies and I got this sound. <laughs> So let's check out the song list. The first three tracks that you see here were already uploaded to my channel at some point in 2023 
and the fourth one was part of the 2023 Halloween show. Then there's Electric Bell, Ride Against Time, which is a instrumental track, Signal Defiant Machine, this one is my favorite, I think. Then there's Eternal Restlessness. The ninth song is called Nine, <laughs> but it has a reason, trust me, it's just not for the joke. <laughs> and the tenth song is called Futuristic Echoes. I'm actually working on that one right now as I'm recording this video. Well, let's see how this album goes. Who knows, if enough people likes this, there could be a sequel. I really like this project, but you can only do so much with it being so specific, like the standard commercial style courses could get all pretty easy pretty quick. So if I'm gonna work on a sequel, I will have to make sure that it is worth it first. Taking in account that I'm already working in so much other stuff, if this album stands out among the rest of my music, I will definitely love to make another one in the future. Alright, that's everything for now. I hope you enjoyed this The Making Of video. Don't forget to leave a like to let me know if these The Making Of kind of videos are worth making in the future. And yeah, I'm really excited about this album. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And see you in the next video. Bye!